Hi guys, got a request from Corail, apologies if I pronounce the name wrong, to make a paper boat and then make it either radio controlled or solar powered. Well, the obvious problem with a paper boat is it'll get wet and it'll sink unless I varnish it or paint it or something to stop it getting wet. What I'm going to do, rather than just folding one, I'm going to use this plastic boat as the mould and I'm going to make it out of papier-mâché or at least strips of newspaper glued in place or held together with glue. So I'll cut up lots of strips of paper, dip them in some water mixed with glue, stick them on here, let it dry paint it and then see if it works as a boat. So this is going to be quite a long process because we have to wait for it to dry fully each time. Probably need to do a few layers and then paint it and then fit whatever motor or radio control or whatever inside it. So this will be a time-lapse video or at the very least speed it up. We'll leave that to dry out and then probably give it another layer. In two mines now, this is drying out really nicely. Not sure whether to give it another layer of paper or not. I think I will because it's quite thin at the moment. I want a bit more strength. So I think I'll do that. But that's 24 hours that's been drying and that's quite nice. In fact, if I pull the edge, it looks like it will peel off quite nicely. That's the second layer of paper and I've left that now for over 24 hours to dry. And the paper is separating nicely from the plastic boat. That looks like that's going to pull out quite easily. So I'm not quite sure whether to put any more on or not. I think I'm going to just leave it like that. It's only, I don't know, four or five layers of paper thick. So it's not going to be terribly strong. But I want to get on and varnish it. I could paint it and make it look pretty. But I want to just use clear varnish. I've got some here from Poundland. Gloss Finish Yacht Varnish. So... By using clear varnish we can see that it's still the newspaper underneath. I've also got some of Poundland's really cheap brushes to use. So um, I'll go out and do it in either in the garage or in the shed because this stuff does smell a bit and I don't want it all around the house. So I had two coats of varnish on the outside. So now I shall go and varnish the inside. You can see the difference in the finish. Nice and shiny on the outside. Clear varnish. So we'll now do the inside. Need to trim the edges a bit as well. In fact I might do that before I do the varnish on the inside. Just take a pair of scissors and straighten up the edges. Out in the garage the boats had two coats of varnish on the outside and I've just given it its second coat of varnish on the inside. So 
for another day or so before we can do anything with it. While the hull of my boat is drying in the garage, I'm using the mould that I use to get the positioning for the components. And put the radio control gear in this little clip lock box. And then I'm going to have it fan powered. So I'm going to have a little tower coming up top here for the electric motor to sit on. And I'm going to have a piece of wood coming out the back here and down to hold the rudder. And then I'll have a servo mounted in the top of there to control the rudder. And to mount it on, uh, I'll sketch that little picture. I'm using these bits of plywood that the um, put together wooden dinosaurs and that were made from. This is the bits that left are left over. So it's not going to look quite like that. It's going to be pieces of this that are more or less the right shape just glued together. There's my clip box with the steering servo on it. And here's my bit of wood that fits on there like that. Motor will be glued on the top here, just one of those little um, what are they? 6mm, 8mm and then on the back here, I'll use this cotton bud tube for the rudder to go down through that. So I'll glue that on the back. But before I do that, I should go and varnish this wood. Because I've got the varnish going in the garage, might as well use it. Getting a step closer, we've got motor, servo, ESC, small LiPo battery and servo tester there just so we can check it works. So if we switch it on. You can see the servo move and the motor at the same time because they're linked together on this servo tester. So Next thing will be to glue this to the little wooden frame that I made up for it. Put the rudder on the back, link the rudder up, and put this into the paper boat. This is the plastic um, mould that I used. So this will just sit in there like that. What I plan to do is put some magnets in the bottom of the plastic bit and put some metal plates in the bottom of the wooden uh, the paper boat so it just holds itself in place. Nearly ready. Got to glue this piece on the top of the plastic box. I'm going to glue these washers, metal washers, into the bottom of the hull and then these broken neodymium magnets will go in the bottom of the plastic box to hold the box in place for no particular reason other than I thought I'd try it. I need to add that tube on the back there for the rudder to go through and put 
the motor up there. I'm going to wind some wire around it to hold it in place and then use two-pack epoxy glue to put it in place. And then those wires can go over there somewhere. Like that. Then we need a push rod to go from the servo to the rudder. So, a bit of gluing to do. That's the main bits glued in place using two pack epoxy. I will actually add some hot glue to this just to give it a bit of extra strength. And a bit of hot glue just here to hold the wire in place as well. It's all the component parts ready. So we've got battery, on off switch, ESC, 2.4 gig receiver, servo, electric motor, rudder, transmitter, boat with my magnets in there to hold that in place. So I'll clip it together and then we'll try it in the bath. Well, first most important thing is it floats. Appears to work. And we have reverse. So that looks like a success. I'm tempted to put a bit of polystyrene foam inside just in case it does sink when it's out on the boating lake. But on the face of it, that looks like that's going to work absolutely fine. Yeah, that'll do.